Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel on engineering mathematics. In this second video on statistics for data science, I am going to discuss the concept of median. Let us see what you will learn in this video. First we will see introduction to median for ungrouped data, then examples on it. Next we will see introduction to median for group data and examples on it. Now let us proceed to first point introduction to median for ungrouped data. Median is the middle value when all the data points are arranged in ascending or descending order. If the data set has even number of values, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. Let us understand this definition of the median with the help of an example. Consider this first example. Here data consists of numbers 12, 15, 18, 20 and 25. Note that this data set is arranged in ascending order and since there are five data values in the set, the middle value will be at the third position. So here median is 18. Now consider another example. Here data set consists of numbers 10, 15, 20 and 25. Even number of values. So the median will be the average of two middle numbers. So the two middle numbers lie at positions second and third. So their average that is average of 15 and 20 would be 17.5. So here median will be 17.5. Now let us see more examples on this. Here in this example number one, we are asked to find the median of the following data. This is our data. Note that this data is not arranged in ascending or descending order. So in first step of our solution, we will first arrange this data in ascending order. Let us do that. So after rewriting the data in ascending order, data would look like this. The total number of values in this data set are 10. So this is even number of values. Therefore, median of this data values will lie between position 5 and 6. Here at 5th place we have value 5 and at 6th place we have value 6. Therefore, average of these values is 5 plus 6 by 2 which is 5.5. Therefore, corresponding median is 5.5. Let us see another example. Once again we are asked to find the median of the following data. This is the given data. Once again, data is not arranged in ascending or descending order. So first of all, we will arrange it and rewrite it in ascending order. So after rewriting it in ascending order, data would look like this. Here total number of values in the data set are 12. Once again, we have even number of values in the data set. Therefore, middle value lie between the position 6 and 7. At 6th place, we have number 16 and at 7th place, we have number 17. Therefore, median will be average of these two numbers that is 16 plus 17 by 2. So median would be 16.5. I hope guys you understood both the examples. Now let us proceed to see how to find median of the group data. Here in step 1, we identify the median class. Let us see how to identify the median class. The median class is the class interval that contains the middle value when the data is arranged in ascending order. Therefore, median class is equal to class interval where n by 2 values lies, where n is equal to summation fi, that is total frequency. In second step, we calculate the median using the formula L plus n by 2 minus cf upon fm into h, where L is the lower boundary of the median class, cf stands for cumulative frequency of the class before median class, fm stands for frequency of the median class and h is the class width that is difference between the upper and the lower boundaries of the class. Now let us understand this with the help of example. Here in this third example we are asked to find the median of this following data. Look at this data. This is a group data where we are given the class interval and the corresponding frequencies. Let us first of all calculate the corresponding cumulative frequencies. For that we will prepare the calculation table in this way. So this first column represents the class intervals. These are corresponding frequencies and here in third column we are going to write the cumulative frequencies. Cumulative frequency for the first class is 5. For the next class it will be 8 plus 5 13. For next class it will be 10 plus 8 plus 5 it is 23. For next class it is 7 plus some of these frequencies which is 23 plus 7 30. And for last class it will be 30 plus 4 34. So these are cumulative frequencies and from this we found the total frequency is 34. Therefore n is equal to 34. Let us divide n by 2 
to get the middle value n by 2 here is 34 by 2 which is 17 now let us check where this 17 values lies so 17 values lies over here below this class there are actually 23 values so 17 lies over here if i pick this class i see here there are 13 values lies below this class so it is unfair to choose this as the median class so the median class here will be the class below which at least 17 values lies so this is our corresponding median class here lower limit is 20 and upper limit is 30 so we note down median class is 20 to 30 here fm that is the frequency of the median class is 10 l is the lower limit of the frequency class is 20 cf is the cumulative frequency of the previous class is 13 h is 10 here h is the class width look at the class widths of all classes it is 10 now we proceed with the median formula which is l plus n by 2 minus cf upon fm into h note that we have all these values l is 20 n is 34 h is 10 fm is 10 cf is 13 let us substitute all these values and calculate the median so i find here median is 24 i hope guys you understood this example this was the last example from the video please write me in comment box whether you understood these examples or not in my next video i am going to discuss the concept of mode till then you keep practicing these examples keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.